Hello everyone, welcome back. Professor Candido here with my third module for chapter two, where we're going to learn about the MKDIR, RMDIR, RM, and CP. This should be relatively short compared to the other two modules, so I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to do an ls-l, and you can see what I have out there. You can create a directory very easily, so I'm going to do MKDIR, and we're going to call it backups. Look how easy that is. I can actually make another one called hidden by just putting a dot in front of it. Let's do an ls-l. Well, we can see the backups, but I don't see the hidden. Do you remember how to make hidden files appear? If you said A, you are absolutely correct, and there's my hidden directory. I'm going to come over to Windows, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, do stuff in DOS. I already have a directory called backup, so I can call it backup2. I'm using the exact same command in Unix and Windows, and it works quite nicely. The other thing I want to show you is how to remove a directory. Do you think you can figure out the command is? If you said rmdir for remove directory, you are correct. So I type mrdir backups, and notice it goes away. And it doesn't ask you, are you sure? So you've got to be absolutely positive that you know what you're doing. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to be in DOS. I hit my up arrow to bring up my previous command. I do rmdir, and you're not going to believe this, but it actually works here as well. That is just too funny, and I'm going to do exit. Boom. Okay, so now we know how to create a directory, and we know how to remove a directory. So the next thing I want to do is show you how to copy a file, and we will be doing much more work with copying and moving in Chapter 4 Learning Modules. But for right now, we're going to do something very simple. I'm going to click here, type CP, and see the his.txt. I'm going to say copy or CP his.txt to his.save. So this is the command. Notice there's no switches, but I have a space. This is the file I want to copy, and this is the file I want to copy to or give it a new name as. I'm going to do an ls-l. Notice you get no confirmation like file created. And right there, I got his.txt and his.save. They're exactly the same size on the same day, except time is slightly a little different. The last thing I want to introduce you to is the rm command. rm stands for remove. So I can remove a file by saying rm cal.txt, and it will erase it. I can do rm his dot star, and that will get rid of any file that begins with his and ends with, um, has a period, ends with whatever. So I'll look through the list here. What do you think would get removed? If you said his.save and his.txt, you are correct. So you can do it this way, or you can actually give it a list if you wanted to. I personally don't like the type, so I think this is a better approach. And notice they are gone and doesn't ask me, are you sure? So the last thing I want to go over is I have a directory I created called sample, and I put some stuff in it. How would I check to see what's inside sample? Well, we would use an ls-l. And it's one of my children directories. Children means I'm in my home directory, and desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, all the way down to videos are my children directory. Directory. So I could type this, and that would work. But that's really long. So I could come in here, and I could put a tilde up to sample, and that works. Can you think of another way to do it? I could do the dot. That works. There's an example of dot. Dot means the current directory, and then go down to the child sample. And the truth is, I could just do this. As long as the name here is one of my children directories, I don't need to fully qualify the path. So you've learned four different ways you could look into a children directory. Now I want to remove that directory. So we think we could do this, right? Who's with me that it will work? You are wrong. RMDIR only works on empty directories. It's like a safety net to make sure you don't inadvertently delete something. So I will share something with you that you must use caution with. 
I accidentally used this in the industry and I deleted some files I shouldn't have and I shut down our worldwide stock trading system for about three minutes and came very close to getting fired. So use it with caution. Don't do what I did. Do RM dash R, that stands for recursive. That means it will go in and delete this stuff and delete the directory. And it's gone. And it even asked me, are you sure? So it's very powerful Unix, but can be also very dangerous.